Welcome again. Today we examine topic 5.2.1. Describe two direct methods of monitoring pollution. In this lesson, we focus on just one of these methods, dealing specifically with air pollution and the monitoring of a key component of photochemical smog. That component is ground level ozone. The aim is to compare the levels of ground level ozone in different areas of Shanghai. To do this, we need ozone test kits, notebook, watch, and a GPS. The two areas in our study are downtown Shanghai in front of the Bund and the busy Beidi Lu just outside the Shanghai American School Pushi campus. Let's take a moment to quickly review the formation of photochemical smog. Nitrogen gas and oxygen combine in the heat of vehicle combustion chambers. Nitric oxide is the result of this reaction. Nitric oxide then reacts with oxygen, producing nitrogen dioxide. And it is nitrogen dioxide in the presence of ultraviolet radiation from the sun gives rise to nitric oxide and a single atom of oxygen. It is this single atom of oxygen which combines with diatomic oxygen, O2, to produce ozone. At sunset and in the absence of light, nitric oxide reacts with ozone, forming nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Ozone is not the sole component of photochemical smog, however. It is made up of hundreds of other components. Another key component is formed by an interaction between nitrogen dioxide, oxygen, hydrocarbons, or VOCs, volatile organic compounds, and these, in the presence of sunlight, produce PAN, an eye irritant. Let's take a look now at the procedure for today's experiment. It's important to, to check the expiration date on the container. Upon removing the strip, it's important to expose it to the air for just 10 minutes, keep it out of direct sunlight and windy areas, and then Immediately compare the color to that of the chart. In this experiment, we take simultaneous readings at each location at 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 4 p.m. And it's useful to take each test at a set GPS location, which would be noted for future studies, which may seek to compare the area over time. Initially, we perform a test indoors in an area with an air purification system. And as expected, no ozone can be detected. Then it was off to the first test. Your task is to organize the raw data from this experiment into a table. Process this data and present it using an appropriate graph or chart. Go to smogcity.com and work with the interactive animation. And then write a discussion, evaluation and conclusion. So if you believe that there are areas to improve on in this experiment, for example, That goes with your evaluation. Your discussion is about the importance and the significance of such an investigation. And your conclusion is what your data tells you and why.